Hey everybody, it's Jamie from No Getting Off This Train, and in today's video, I have a Dollar Tree meal for you. This is an easy and healthy burrito bowl. Welcome back to my Dollar Tree meal series. If this is your first time watching, I highly recommend you watch the other videos in my series by clicking on the playlist either down below or up here. And make sure you read the blog post in the description as well because it explains why I do these kinds of meals. Today's dinner is super easy. It's like four ingredients, everybody, for like the main meal. This is a burrito bowl using beans and rice and then some frozen peppers and onions and diced tomatoes. Put all of them together and you have a really easy and healthy dinner. I am always looking for ways to save money and save time. Dollar Tree can help with that. I bought canned beans, which is easier than buying dried beans. I had a bag of the yellow rice and then of course the diced tomatoes and then the pepper and onion stir fry blend was already sliced up. So it was easy to throw in the pan. And the best part about this is that you can customize this however you want. I mean, if you wanted to add lettuce to it, you could do that and turn it into a salad. If you have cheese, you could add cheese or sour cream, guacamole, whatever you have on hand. This is just like the base of it. And I show you like different ways that you can add food to this meal as well. And make sure you stay until the end because I will also be doing a price comparison between Dollar Tree and Walmart. Well, I'm just gonna jump right in. Let's go to the kitchen and let me show you the four ingredients that I bought and how to put it all together. So this is what I came up with. As you can see, it is super simple. I love their yellow rice. I think it gives the rice a really good flavor. Now, I believe this rice is not vegan because I think I saw there is some chicken in here. So if you want, you can always use like white or brown rice instead. But I bought the large can of kidney beans because it is a better deal. There are smaller cans. This one's the bigger one. I also bought a can of the Rotel, which has diced tomatoes and green chilies, some more good flavor. And as a little bit of vegetables, I bought the pepper stir fry. This is one of the only frozen vegetables that I like at Dollar Tree. I can't get into their broccoli or cauliflower or like their California blend and stuff. I just do not like the taste and texture, but this is really good. Another thing that you could buy at Dollar Tree that I did not because I already had some was some taco seasoning. So what I'll do is with this leftover taco seasoning, I will just uh, pour it on the beans and the tomatoes and the peppers and onions as they're cooking. And then the rice is going to go in a separate pot. So let's get started. The first thing we need to do is boil some water. So the package says to boil two and one fourth cup. So we'll get that going. Now this yellow rice here serves about four and a half, which is perfect for what we need because the beans, I believe also serve about four. Same with the peppers and the onions. Then to get things started, I'm just gonna put maybe a couple of teaspoons of olive oil into this pan here. I'll heat that up and then we're gonna add the peppers and onions to that. Let that cook for a short while because I've noticed that with this at least, it gets really watery after it cooks and I don't want there to be too much water in there. So we'll let this cook for a few minutes and then we'll add the rest of the stuff. Now, one thing I talk about with these Dollar Tree meals is show you ways to how to make these meals healthier. Now, you've got the beans, you've got the rice, you have diced tomatoes, and you have peppers and onions, which is plenty healthy in and of itself. But if you wanted to kick it up a little bit and you wanted to add a little bit of extra food, I have romaine lettuce right here. I'm actually gonna turn these into maybe a taco salad, I guess you could call it. So I'll have this and then also cheese. I already shredded this cheese and you can certainly buy your own cheese at Dollar Tree. They do sell real blocks of cheese. Um, not quite as big as the eight ounce, but it's still real cheese. So you can buy that for yourself as well. But I'm going to chop this up too and have that for dinner. First of all though, we have the water boiling for the rice. So gotta add this in. And then I believe it says we have to let it cook for, all right, we have to cover, cook for 20 to 25 minutes. Sounds good. And now we can also add the pepper stir fry. The pan feels like it's heated up quite a bit. This actually looks pretty good today. Some of the bags of peppers and onions that I get 
you get like really huge chunks of onion. I mean, you got a little bit like right here, but it's not a big deal. You can always cut up, oh, here's a big one, yeah. But yeah, sometimes the peppers will be like really huge and they're really hard to eat like that. But you know, it's no big deal to just like cut them up a little bit, not a big deal at all. So one tip that I recommend, if you are into burrito bowls, as opposed to like eating an actual burrito with a tortilla, always, always like put lettuce in there. And it's really gonna be more of like a burrito bowl salad. However, if you put a bunch of lettuce in your bowl, right before you put all the other ingredients in, like that's gonna give you so much more food. It's going to fill up your stomach more because obviously look at this lettuce, you get all this and there's tons of vitamins and nutrients, minerals inside lettuce and vegetables and they're not a whole lot of calories. So you'll, you'll be able to eat a lot more. There's plenty of fiber in this, so it's gonna keep you full longer as well. So if you, if you like to eat burritos and burrito bowls, but always feel like you just can't get full off of it, add lettuce first and see what happens, seriously. All right, there we go. See, as you can see, there's some liquid inside here, not quite as much as I thought, but there's enough that I'm just going to drain what's in here. And then we will add the beans and the tomatoes and the taco seasoning. We're gonna let that cook and simmer for a few minutes. I feel like the tomatoes and the taco seasoning is going to add tons of flavor to this. Now you don't have to use a packet of taco seasoning. If you wanted to use your own seasonings, then cumin and chili powder, onion powder, garlic powder, salt and pepper, those would all be appropriate spices to use. And I think most of those are in a packet of taco seasoning anyway. So it's a, a cheaper DIY if you always keep those seasonings on hand anyway. So this smells awesome already. I'm gonna let this sit for between five and seven minutes or so, and then that will be ready. And honestly, I mean, that's it. You cook all of it like this, you've got the yellow rice going, and in like 20 to 25 minutes, dinner is ready. Well, the beans and tomato mixture is fully cooked. The rice just finished up. I noticed that it actually burnt a little bit on the bottom and tried to stick to the bottom. So I had to maybe cut it a little bit early. So it was only maybe 15, 10 or 15 minutes. Still soft though. So let's go ahead and get these in the bowls. Let's get into the price comparison. I've been loving doing this actually, because I'm always interested to see how prices compare between Dollar Tree and other stores. I keep choosing Walmart because Walmart is one of the cheaper places in my area. Aldi is really cheap too, but it's just, it's so easy to do Walmart this way. So first of all, kidney beans. Now the kidney beans that I bought at Dollar Tree were like 20 something ounces, so it was a tiny bit bigger for a dollar. But the standard 15 and a half ounce kidney beans at Walmart is 54 cents. So technically Walmart wins on that front, but Walmart doesn't have like the bigger cans that Dollar Tree does. The peppers and onions, this one kind of surprised me. Now the this is 20 ounces, and the one at Dollar Tree, I believe, is 16 ounces. So $2.33 for the big bag of peppers and onions, whereas it's a dollar at Dollar Tree. So Dollar Tree definitely wins there because you're only, you're only getting like four more ounces in this one, but you're paying a whole lot more. So definitely Dollar Tree for that bag. The yellow rice, same size, same brand and everything. It's $1.18 here at Walmart, 
and a dollar at Dollar Tree. So Dollar Tree definitely wins that one as well. The diced tomatoes with green chilies. Now I bought the Rotel brand and um, this one's the Great Value brand. I think they're the same size actually, but this one here at Walmart, as you can see, is 68 cents. So the grand total is $4.73 for basically the same four items. Now you can definitely get some stuff cheaper at Walmart with the kidney beans and the diced tomatoes, like those win. But the biggest one were these peppers and onions. I mean, you could probably buy like one single onion and one bell pepper to save a little bit of money there. But I mean, it's 73 cents more at Walmart. So I don't know if it would be worth it to go to Dollar Tree just to save 73 cents, but that is interesting to see. Well, that is all I have for you today. Now I was just thinking about this, do you think I could do like a 4th of July style barbecue from just ingredients from Dollar Tree? I don't know if I can. If enough of you say yes, then I think I'm going to try it this month. If you liked this video, make sure you subscribe to this channel because that really helps me a lot to get you bigger and better content. And make sure to like this video and ring that bell and that way you'll be notified when my next Dollar Tree meal video comes out as well as my other grocery hauls, recipes, and meal planning tips. Thank you all so much for watching and I will see you later. Did you know I offer one-on-one -on -one nutrition coaching? Whether your goal is to lose weight, eat healthier, or just want to know how to get started, I can help. You can schedule a free weight loss discovery call by using the link in the description. Thanks for watching and I can't wait to chat with you.